You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on Lily Cat. Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal Ruroni K95 here, and today I decided to cover another 80s anime film from 1987, which is a, another anime film for today's anime review is Lily Cat. Lily Cat is a 1987 science fiction horror anime film written and directed by Hisaki Yuki Toriumi, featuring monster featuring monster designs from Yoshitaka Amano and character designs from Yasuomi Umetsu. An English version of the film was produced by Carl Masick and distributed by Streamline Pictures. After the closing of Streamline Pictures, the distribution rights were obtained by Discotech Media. So let's review Lily Cat for the first time here. In the 23rd century, companies are now surveying distant planets from a mining rights. The Sincam Corporation is investigating a relatively new planet and has hired deep space cruiser Slade. It aids to shuttle company surveyors to investigate the employees consists of Jiro Taki, Taga, Takagi of the Japanese division, Dick Berry of the Australian division, the president's daughter Nancy Fer Farah Van Dorothy, Morgan W. Scott, Jimmy, and Dr. Harris Mead. With the crew consists of Captain Mike Hamilton and his subs subordinates Dular, Walt, and Carolyn and the mechanics guy and Watts in addition Nancy brought her has brought her cat Lily on board the ship allows its passengers to go hyper into hypersleep for 20 years and only biologically age one year yep so during the voyage ship's computer detects debris flying through space and collects a sample which causes the next the extraterrestrial matter to become loose in the ship while the crew and the surveyors are in the cryogenetic sleep upon awakening the crew learns that two of the surveyors are imposters but a bigger problem emerges when morgan is found dead from a mysterious infection Dr. Mead, Lily, Guy, and Watts also perish from what appears to be a bacterial infection, which dissolves the bodies of its victims, but leaves their clothes intact. During this, Barry attempts to discover who the imposters are by checking their backgrounds, which is, al which is almost not in a good way in the process what you see in the anime movie Lily Cat the bacteria quickly involves into a hostile form of life form ca capable of mimicking the form of its human victims and kills Dorothy in the sick bay the computer controls are also overrun by an unknown entity which it results in the deaths of Dular and Walt back in sick bay Jiro and Barry are revealed to be the impostures when Jiro gives an explanation for the bacteria. Jiro is a medical student who murdered three drug dealers who he held responsible for his sister's death from an overdose. And Barry is a detective determined to bring him in. Barry handcuffs Jiro, The Hamilton warns Barry that because decades have passed, since the murders. No one else is interested in Jiro being brought to justice. As if he was, if he was got sent behind bars earlier, what you see in the anime movie Lily Cat. The survivors soon confront the bacteria, which results in Barry getting injured from the recoil of his shotgun Hamilton and Jimmy create flamethrowers to deal with the bacteria. Though Jimmy and Carolyn are quickly killed, 
So Hamilton manages to survive, discovers that a robotic rep replica of Nancy's cat is responsible for taking over the ship. He then realizes that Sincam wanted to study the bacteria with no concern for their lives of the human crew. Meanwhile, Barry holds a grudge against Jiro because the murders prevent the police from shutting down the drug dealer, the dealer's drug ring, and cost him a promotion. Hamilton, Jiro, Nancy, and Barry flee to the main bridge where Barry dies from the infection in a fit of defeatism. Jiro attempts suicide until Hamilton reveals a shuttle he stored. Hamilton proceeds to destroy the ship by letting out the hydrogen and setting off a lighter while Jiro and Nancy escape to the planet below them. Remaining, the bacteria burns up in the atmosphere. Yep. So, uh, it wasn't long until the credits roll, until you see the handcuffs uh, fall onto the ground, and then you hear the sound effects of cat meowing, and at, with the, the end title card, what you see at the end of Lily Cat. So that's my review on the 1987 anime movie Lily Cat. Yeah, so the thing about Lily Cat is basically... It's your typical sci-fi horror anime, because this anime is like, particularly anime's take on Alien, as well as John Carpenter's The Thing, and Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, especially because it's a sci-fi horror anime, as well as other ones in general, like the American science fiction horror film, such as The Uninvited, which is basically inspired to the anime film Lily Cat, especially because, you know, it's just how it is what it is, especially what you see in, particularly in Lily Cat, as it was because if what you expect on low budget sci or big budget sci fi horror movies, which has been inspired for an anime, this anime film Lily Cat has been released on September 1st, 1987. Yeah, and the, and the production is, is done by the studio, uh, which is Studio Puro, which is known for their work on anime such as Naruto, Bleach, Yu Yu Hakusho, Black Clover, Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, Tokyo Ghoul, Great Teacher Onizuka, as well as other anime such as The Wonderful Adventures of Nils, Yurusei Yatsura, Miss Machiko, The Mysterious Cities of Gold, Miss Pepperpot, Creamy Mommy, The Magic Angel, Persia, The Magic Fairy, Magical Emmy, The Magic Star, Pastel Yumi, The Magic Idol, as well as Kimagure Orange Road, forgot to mention that as well, as Dragon Quest, Magical Hat, Omatsu, Osomatsu-kun as well, as well as Gun Bar Kickers, forgot to mention that, as well as other animes in general, like, what, like, especially the ones that are made by Studio Piero on the couple of Yurisei Yatsura movies, like, are directed by Momoru Oshii that are made under Studio Piero, such as Yurisei Yatsura Only You and Yurisei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer as well. Oh, Studio Piero also worked on other animes in the 90s, such as Little Ghost There, Here and Where, Fushigi Yugi, The Mysterious Play, Hyper Police, Flame of Rekka, Fancy Lala, Neo Ranga, Yoiko, as well as Power Stone, I'm Gonna Be an Angel, as well as Breaker 2000, O oh, Super Milk Chan, Ayashi no Series, or Series Celestial Legend, Super Gals Kotobuki Ron, Kaze no Yojimbo, Hikaru no Go, Tokyo Mew Mew, The Twelve Kingdoms, Tokyo Underground, as well as every other anime that are made under the production of Studio Puro as well. Well, it's just how it is what it is. Oh, also, Studio Piero also worked on Yona of the Dawn as well. Forgot to mention that. As well as Baby Steps Season 2. As well as Baby Steps as well. Kingdom Season 2 as well. 
as well as other anime that is made by under Studio Puro, such as Mr. Om Osomatsu 3, as well as Akudama Drive. Forgot to mention that as well, because this anime was released in 1987, particularly around the same time as Wicked City, because it's 1987, because this is your typical streamlined... This, well, this anime did got a DVD release from Discotech Media as well, after the closure, the closure of Streamline Pictures, as well, because the distribution rights of Lily Cat has gone to stream to Discotech Media, because this anime has its own vert take on Alien, The Thing, Uninvited, and 2001: A Space Odyssey, because this anime has just how you expect of how it has taken its inspirational roots of. American science fiction horror movies like the like such as the un for example the uninvited alien and 2001 a space and the thing you know from John Carpenter as well with a, some science fiction elements in space you know like 2000 like Stanley Kubrick's 2001 a space odyssey because it's an, under the science fiction parts in of how Lily Cat is your typical science fiction horror anime film because but uh, we all know this has actors that are from Yurisei Yatsura in the Japanese dub, like Shigeru Chiba and Tesho Genda. These are the only two are from Yurisei Yatsura anime TV series that are also in Lily Cat, which I forgot to tell. As well as in the English dub from Streamline Pictures, with which is basically Steve Kramer and Richard Cancino, which are these two that are known for the English dub of the Rurouni Kenshin anime TV series. And this also features Tom Weiner, who did English dub in anime, such as Fushigi Yugi, El Hazard, The Magnificent World, Dog Tanyan, and The Three Musket Hounds, Cowboy Bebop, Armitage, Dual Matrix, Ark the Lad, Kaze no Yojimbo, Lensman, Outlaw Star, Rurouni Kenshin, Samurai Champloo, Street Fighter 2 V, Shinzo, Techno Man, The Secret of the Blue Water, The Twelve Kingdoms, also did Vampire Hunter D, Witch Hunter Robin, Wolf's Reign, Zillion, Samurai Champloo, and other animes that he has done in the past as well. Because Oh, and he's also did Robotech the Movie, Digimon Battle of Adventures, Lupin the Third, The Castle of Cogliostro, especially the MGM version uh, as well. He also did Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, Mobile Suit Gundam F91, and Ghost in the Shell, especially for a good old Tom Weiner as well. Because this is... And it, oh, he's also worked as a miscellaneous crew on anime, such as the dialogue director on Fist of the North Star, Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics, Dog Tanyon and the Three Musket Hounds, Captain Harlock and the Queen of a uh, Thousand Years. Yeah. Ye as well as, he was a writer on Presents and the casting director on Robot Carnival. He's also a script supervisor on Silent Mobius. And he's also a director and producer on Techno Man as well. Forgot to mention that as well. Especially in this anime review on Lily Cat. It is also directed by Hisayuki Torimi, who also worked on Science Ninja Team Gacha Man. And also... Uh, it's just how it is what it is, especially you know, from what you see, because for this anime, Lily Cat, as well. And this also features the Japanese voice actor who did the voice for Kira Fudo in the 1972 Devil Man anime TV series in the Japanese dub version of Lily Cat, forgot to mention. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Lily Cat for today. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's our thoughts on this. It's been a while since I watched Lily Cat on Crunchyroll because this anime has its take on un on sci-fi horror ones like Uninvited, The Thing, and Alien, as well as sci-fi parts like 2001: A Space Odyssey. Post subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter, or Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account, and all social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Be sure, sure to feel free to leave it in the comments in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, Ruoni Can I Five. Feel free to join my channel. Hit the notifications bell button. Keep it otaku for this anime review, and I got another anime review coming. Stay tuned for my next anime review. I got another anime movie that came out in 2018 in Japan with my anime review on Mazinger Z Infinity. Stay tuned for my next anime review on Mazinger Z Infinity, because you won't want to miss another anime review.